Hello students, once again welcome to Bhavananath Academy. In rotational dynamics students, we are going to see the, we are going to state the expression of moment of inertia of thin ring and the thin uniform disc. Here it is thin ring and thin uniform disc. Understanding students? So we are going to express, we are going to express the moment of inertia of thin ring and thin uniform disc about its transverse symmetry, symmetry axis. Understanding students? transverse this is the ring issuance so this part is called as what transversal part understanding so we are if the ring is rotating transverse at the time what will be the moment of inertia of this thin ring now students consider a thin ring of radius r this capital r is the radius of the thin ring and capital m that is mass m this is the mass of the ring understanding students so this is the radius capital r is the radius and m is the mass of this ring now it is performing what it is rotating about the axis understanding is well it is rotating about this axis now what happens students yeah moment of inertia of the ring about the transverse symmetry axis is equals to that is moment of inertia students at this axis is equals to i c i means what moment of inertia is equals to product of the mass and the square of the radius understanding radius square of the radius this is the r square that is moment of inertia is equal to mr square understanding students this is very important students if you want to solve the problem so these three quantities moment of inertia equals to mr square consider a thin disk of the radius now here we are talking about disk understanding this is the disk that means all part is what rigid a consider thin disk of radius r and the mass is what capital m radius capital r is the radius of this disk understanding students because it is a disc it is not a ring understanding students see the difference in the thin ring and the thin disc here i am talking about what disc disc is very important students. so capital m is the mass of the disc and capital r is the radius of the disc so its density students is equals to mass upon area mass upon area that is pi r square the density is equals to mass upon area that is m upon pi r consider a disc consist of concentric elemental ring a small small ring i have taken suppose it is made up of small small ring so that is called as elemental ring now let small dm dm will be the mass and dr be the radial width that is the width of the ring now students area of the ring is area of the ring at the time will becomes area equals to 2 pi r dr understanding students area we want to consider this is equals to 2 pi r dr understanding students but students you know density is equals to what density of this element is equals to dm upon area that is dm upon 2 pi r dr now the mass of the disc equals to 2 pi r sigma r dr understanding students so this is the elemental ring the mass of the elemental ring is equals to 2 pi r sigma r dr now what happens students if you integrate them the moment of inertia of disc is equals to that is i equals to you have to integrate we have to integrate from 0 to capital r here i have taken a small r for the small element so it is nothing but what distance square r square into mass of the elemental ring understand students now we are integrating 0 to r that is r square into 2 pi r 2 pi sigma r dr now what happens students because 2 pi sigma is the constant we have to take it out now r square into r r cube dr we are going to integrate r cube with respect to r from 0 to capital r so it will become 2 pi r sigma r raised to 4 upon 4 integration this is power integration students we have to add the one in and in numerator you are dividing with n plus one n plus one that is r raised to 4 divided by 4 so moment of inertia students is equals to 2 pi r 2 pi sigma into r square r raised to 4 upon 4 i equals to 2 pi sigma into r raised to 4 upon 4 now students you know sigma value that is of a disc is equals to density of the disc equals to capital m divided by pi r square understanding you know the density of the disc now what happens students this pi will cancel with this and you are getting what half 2 1 za and this is 2 2 za so you are getting half mr square understanding so this square this will cancel with this you will get only square understanding so this is i equals to half mr square this is the required expression students understanding students 
now we are going to define the radius of gyration what is the radius of gyration students sometimes examination they are asking a radius of gyration is a body rotating rotating about an axis defined as the distance between the axis of rotation and the point at which entire mass of the body can be supposed to be con concentrated so as to give the same moment of inertia as that of the body about the given axis equals to i equals to summation of mi ri whole square that is is nothing but it means mk square that is means if you want to summation that you will get this small m will convert convert into what capital m and k square now it means k square is nothing but is equals to root of i upon m understand it means so this if you want to calculate this k square is nothing but i upon m now this square will go on that side that side it will k will becomes root i upon m understanding this is the radius of gyration understanding students so these are very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much